Hi guys, Bella here. I am just making a video um, and actually thanks to Janine, Pinkfish Lily, because she encouraged me. She said it had been a while since I had made one and she's absolutely right. And um, you know, I'm doing okay uh, and I know that a lot of people stop making videos when they aren't doing that well. Um, and for me, I mean, making videos isn't something that comes as naturally to me. I blog. Um, and so writing almost every day is what is really natural for me. I don't think about making videos as much. Um, so just because I haven't made a video in a while definitely doesn't mean everything is, you know, off the deep end. Um, but, you know, she's right. I should make videos a little bit more often because it wouldn't hurt me to come on here like once a week and just check in, you know, kind of sum up the things that have been going on. Um, and I actually have something that I can share today. Uh, today I took a really big step and I made an appointment to see a therapist. If you guys have been watching my videos, you know that I've been trying to lose the uh, required weight that the surgeon gave me, um, the weight loss goal, and it it's about 45 pounds. And I've been back and forth and up and down and I lose some and I gain more and I lose more and then I gain it. Um, it's like an endless cycle and it really is because of my disordered eating, um, my binge eating. Uh, it's hard for me to say that word about myself, but I do sometimes binge and um, gosh, I feel like a little ashamed of, of saying that. I've said it before on here, but um, that perfectionist side of me makes it really difficult to to admit to it like this huge flaw, right, this huge character flaw. But I also know that if I want to um, get better, then I have to admit it. And not only do I have to admit it, but I have to probably um, talk to somebody else about it. So, uh, so that's what I did. So earlier in the summer, last summer, in August, I had um, made an appointment with a therapist that I was really, I went into pretty open-minded, um, which is big for me. I definitely, therapy is something that I thought was, you know, great for other people, but I never really felt like was for me. I always felt like I didn't really need it uh, and how wrong I was. <laughs> but um, I think that some things have come to light ever since I stopped smoking. Um, smoking was definitely a way for me to cope with stress or with uh, emotions. If I was getting overwhelmed, I would have a cigarette, right? And then when I quit smoking, um, it just made it that much, more, it became more prevalent for me to overeat or binge eat. And uh, food, I turned to food for even more comfort than I normally did. Um, so I started talking to somebody last August. I went to, I think, two or three sessions. And at first I thought I liked the guy, but really I didn't connect with him. Um, he was always trying to tell me that the diet that the Kaiser Bariatric Program had given me wasn't enough calories. And I was like, you know what, dude? Like, they're giving this to me. I'm trying to meet their program requirement. Why don't you ease up on that? Like, this is the other leg of Kaiser. And then he also spent a lot of time sometimes uh, telling me about how he, like, gave himself treats and this and that and whatever. And he talked a lot about himself. And I think he was just a somewhat narcissistic um, because I don't think you have to relate to yourself that much. Like, I'm a fairly uh, intuitive person, so if you t give me some, you know, ideas or metaphors or whatever you're trying to relate it to, I'll catch it. Like you don't need to relate every single thing to yourself, but I digress. Anyway, so today I called and made an appointment um, and asked for a new therapist and they were able to actually fit me into someone tomorrow. So I'm pretty excited. Um, and I meet with her tomorrow for the first meeting and I guess it's more of like an intake meeting, just kind of talking, asking a lot of questions. She'll ask me a lot of questions just to try to determine a good course of action. But I'm really excited um, and scared at the same time. I mean, I'm not scared to uncover anything because I have to say overall, I'm a fairly fearless person. I really am. Um, so I'm not scared of, of what might come up, but I know that it's gonna be um, emotional. And so um, I'm just hoping that it, it helps. Like I'm just hoping that whatever we figure out um, really does stick because um, a couple weeks ago I went to a healthy weight program class at Kaiser just thinking that it would be more like a support group that I could use. Um, I know other Kaiser 
places like in other parts of the con country or should I say in California, in Southern California, Kaiser has, um, I forget what they call it, the, op the options program, I think they call it, which is like a support group for people in weight loss surgery program to kind of, I think it's like a 12 week, I don't know, correct me if I'm wrong, 12 or 14 week program that you meet weekly. And it's kind of like, I guess, like a Weight Watchers meeting in some ways. Um, and then I guess the hope is that the people lose the required weight in that time. So I was thinking that it could be something like that because Northern California, the Bay Area, we don't have a class like that for weight loss surgery. Unfortunately, I wish we did, but we don't. And so um, I was thinking that this healthy weight class would be um, similar, but it really wasn't. It was a lot more about nutrition and exercise and all this kind of stuff. And I mean, I swear I could, I could teach that class. I mean, I am a teacher and, um, I know so much about it, you know, I, although looking at me, you wouldn't know that, but I definitely have educated myself. And I mean, I've always eaten really well. Um, and just too much of what, of the good stuff, I guess. But anyway, um, and so, when we were in the class, I stayed for the, it was like a two hour class, they gave us a self evaluation to kind of see which Kaiser resources would be the best for our need. And mine came up with saying that I really should take this um, binge eating support group class. It's called Food for Thought, I think. It's about disordered eating, um, especially binge eating. And that really struck a chord with me. I mean, I realized that like, and it said, take that class, before attempting to lose weight. So that really stuck with me. Like, you know, I've been doing this for a year and eight months, um, just with the Kaiser weight loss surgery thing. I'm not even talking about all my life trying to lose weight, but um, the binging definitely has become much more prevalent in the last few years. Um, but in the last year and eight months, I mean, it has been this really bad cycle of, you know, lose a little weight, gain more because you binge and kind of went off track. Lose a little weight, get depressed because you're not losing it as much as you'd like to, you know, get off track. And, and it's a really bad cycle that doesn't lead to success. So, um, and along with that, I realized that the weight loss surgery is not brain surgery, right? It's not going to change my mind. It's not going to help me deal with um, overeating because I know that even though my stomach will be like, you know, I don't know, this big or something at first, um, or maybe forever, I don't know, this big, it's not going to stop me from overeating. I mean, even if I can only overeat, even if like a whole banana is overeating, um, and I know a banana probably isn't the best example because it's too many carbs, but you know what I'm saying. Um, I could still overeat after having VSG surgery. So I think, um, fixing or at least attempting to figure out what's going on and what's causing me to have these binges is going to be really important. Um, and I mean, I know that I'm eating in, in an emotional way. I know that I eat when I get stressed, when I get bored, when I feel out of control. Um, and it's like a coping mechanism for me. So I just need to figure out another way to cope. And I mean, I definitely have thought in the last I have to say in the last like three or four months, I have thought to myself like, maybe you should just start smoking again. You know, at least you wouldn't be, you'd be able to lose the weight and then quit, bef you know. But then I thought that's so stupid. First of all, it's so expensive to, um, cigarettes are extremely expensive, especially here in California because they tax them up like crazy because they're trying to get everyone to stop. And you're like a pariah when you quit, when you smoke. Everyone looks at you like you're, I don't know, this crazy awful person. Um, and you know, it was unhealthy and all those things too. And I feel so much better about myself now that I've quit. And it wasn't, I mean, it wasn't terrible to quit, but it wasn't the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. So I don't think I want to go through that all again. So obviously I've talked myself out of, you know, having cigarettes, turning to cigarettes. So I think obviously talking to a therapist would be a much better option. Um, and, and figuring out other ways of coping. I mean, I know that, I mean, I like to exercise, but it's so much easier to like open a bag of like pop chips and eat those, um, instead of like, Oh, I better head to the gym and, and go on the elliptical machine. I know I should do the elliptical machine instead, or I should pop in a DVD and just do that. But it's obviously it doesn't taste good and all those other things that the pop chips or whatever might, um, so anyway, that's what's going on with me. Um, so I guess I actually had a lot to talk about. Um, so thank you, Janine, for encouraging this video because I think I really needed it. 
Um, anyway, I will check in with you guys. I think I'm going to check in on Sundays because that's when I'm doing like my weekly updates on my blog, um, the Bella on the beach at wordpress.com, Bella on the beach at wordpress.com. Um, that's when I write my weekly update blog, like, and it's going to be when I check in with my weight and stuff. So, um, maybe I will make a video on Sundays as well, like right after. Maybe I could put the video in as on my blog. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But I'll try to make um, videos more often because I do think it's good. And I love this weight loss community on YouTube. And I really want to be become even more of a part of it than I, than I am. Okay. So um, thank you guys. Thanks for watching this. And I could use all the support and encouragement um, that you have to offer. So thank you very much. Bye-bye.